Hello everybody, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor with you again. Bitwig Studio 2, and in this tutorial, continuing on with MIDI effects, one of the really cool ones that's been added for us is called the uh, Note Harmonizer. And I'm going to kind of give you a quick example of what you can do with this guy. There's many variations to how to use this. This is just a quick, easy tutorial to show you the general uh, concept. So, I've got a piano uh, MIDI chord here. It's in B minor according to my clip. Let me open that up a little bit for us. It says piano loop uh, B minor. So let's take a listen. All right, and then we've got a bass loop right here. It's in D sharp. So that guy is playing in D sharp and my chord is B minor. Those actually wouldn't be too bad together on their own, but you can kind of, with the note harmonizer, you can really put them to where they fit into a nice good family and grouping. So let's listen to the bass. All right, now let's just listen to them together before we work with the note harmonizer. too bad. Like I said, I could work. I don't see any problem with it. But let's turn on the note harmonizer and let's select. Um, we want to have our bass harmonized with the B minor. So I, I guess I could select B minor, but I'm just going to select the D sharp. And then I'm going to tell it the source I want to harmonize with is my piano. And we should get a little bit better glued together sound. <laughs> So that's with, without, let's try it as B, so you can experiment with that either way, but that is the idea behind the note harmonizer. Is allowing basically one set of chords to harmonize with the other and it doesn't have to be bass and piano I just use those in this tutorial you could actually have multi uh, chords all harmonizing with each other in different ways so great for layering textures of your synths and your overall sounds let's move on to our next tutorial 